Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. This is Project Tank. You haven't heard about him in a while. So stick around, stay tuned. We're going to do a little fabrication on the old boy. See, the problem here on old Tank Roos, Joe's got to go down to Slack Romeno and tow back some stuff. But, the old tow hitch on this is kind of like it's busted, man. There's a support that's cracked right about there. It's just, it's in bad shape, man. And he's going to put a big old ugly truck on it and tow it back here, so... We gotta beef this thing up, so that means some fabrication, some steel, sparks and welding, and UV burn from the welder, right bro? And here's what we gotta deal with. We have to connect this to the frame and beef it up, man. And the bar right there. And the bar right there. And there. One there. This one. Right, bring up. I'll slap to there. So I'll bring up. i bring to the frame. That's a lot of bringing up in there. Some stuff. I, I reckon. To there. Yeah, I don't know. I reckon. I do it. I We're gonna hold up a whole bunch of pieces, and then uh, we'll kind of show you what it looks like. But as a sitch, man, it's just a couple bolts, and this thing's like welded onto this cracking ass plate that they got up here. So it's got to be fixed, man. We're gonna work on that. I like these welded on spacers they did here. This is this is way safe. I like this. This is like screaming, oh god, just please hold while we're going up the hill. No. Yeah, it is, dude. That's certified. That's like, oh, that's ugly. Oh, you got a shorter bolt? No. <laughs> dude, just weld you. these spacers on. You don't know. Cut me a piece of that fence. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a good washer. That's good stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna triangulate some triangulation, <laughs> dudes, dudettes, people. Joe is about to start welding. He's doing his first brace port right up underneath there. Got jacks pointing, blah, blah, blah. Some of the tools we're using today. No, that's not just a blade, regular blade of the skill So We got the grinder out. We're also using that cut disc for metal on the skill saw. These things are pretty cool. I don't recommend using like a wood blade like that for that. It's dangerous. But these things kick up a lot of sparks and they cut a little slower so take your time. But it is really efficient. Ten times faster than a grinder. Way cleaner. <laughs> we'll never call, especially if you're relatives. <laughs> cool, good buddy. Victimized. Compound cuts with your circular saw, people. Works good. Yeah, but it burns your arm, man, don't it? Yeah, but how else are you gonna look like you live in a Motel 6 unless you got big pock marks all over your arm? Hey, <laughs> it's not junkie marks, it just burns. We're not into that stuff, man. We like we like vegetables. And duels. And duels. Let's see how that piece fits. You look at that. See kids, and you take your time with the right tools, it kinda helps out, it makes it go quicker, right, brother Joe? Sure. 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 So now Joe's gonna weld that up in there and we're gonna probably repeat the process on the other side. Just wanted to show you the little progress. Get her done. Get 
update time. All right, people. Got both the sides on, and we made these spiffy end caps to go on. And, you know, box it in. Man, sealing it up, as it were. Might make some more braces. We'll have to see. But it's definitely got some more beef on it now. Oh, way beefer. Way beefer. Skill saw deal works good for cutting pipe too. Joe's gonna use this big old chunk of steel for another cross member underneath there. It'll be cool. Buff. Buff. Meshkering it out. Cut it short so it don't fit, yeah? And dump gasoline in the pipe when you cut it with one of those because it's cooler. Everybody's doing it. Yep. Look, Joe writes on his underwear. Joe. Joe Bo. <laughs> your mom's floor? Yeah. My mom. <laughs> I'm we ain't that backwoods, man. We moved up here from the city. Well, that smells terrible. <laughs> Burning hot metal and whatever it else it caught on fire. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little dry out here in Cali. Farmer dude's been watering for Spanky and all them, but over there, now, nah, dude's stuff is dead. I can show you some of the garden, but it's not quite that spectacular yet, so you're gonna have to wait. Dun, dun, dun. So he's gonna weld that in, man. And then some stuff. More stuff for tanks, dudes. Do that, people. There is the pipe. It's being welded in now. As soon as Darth Vader puts on his cowl, see? He's gonna weld it to the back of the hitch, too. Tying it all in, babies. This thing's beef. It's like a slopey rump. It's <laughs> not what I meant to say. I was gonna say a slopey jump. Like a ramp. Look at this, he's welding on the tack board. Think so catch on fire. Well people were just about done. Last thing we're putting on are these spiffy like uh, prison shank vertical supports. Going out from there up onto the bumper. So not only is this connected to the bumper, but to the frame. So if the trailer hitch fails, it's going to tear the frame and the bumper off. Take the whole damn thing. Yep, so I don't think that's going to happen, especially with these, these welds. Joe's laying on there. I mean, look at that. Dude, that's sweet. It's like a row of dimes. Saw another really good weld over here. Look at this sweet baby. Nice. Okay, people, Joe's burning in the last support. It's just about done. This thing's beef. It's way gonna support the weight now. No worries about the problems it had before. It's totally not even a part of this anymore. It's more of a part of the bottom. So if we ever want to take the bumper off, it's got to be totally cut off. There's no way to get it off now. So that's what we want, man. All right, people, that's going to do it for today's episode. We're going to go in and eat some spaghetti as soon as Joe's done. So thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Peace out, babies.